Yo, y'all know what it is, y'all know what it ain't. Phone them, phone them ass. Hey, look, I'm glad to see these young brothers, these young gentlemen in great spirits, man. See murder on the left, uh, see thing on the right. They was pitched together in their um, federal facility, taking those, those pictures that they always do. And I'm glad to see that motherfuckers can at least take pictures enough. Because in the county, you don't get nothing but a mug shot. And in the mug shots, you can see all the shit a motherfucker went through. Between black eyes, dreads missing, fat lips, all type of shit. But the pictures that we see of these gentlemen, Muwap, C-Thang, everybody, actually anybody in the feds, when you think about it, they all seem to be doing a good spirits because for sure, for sure, I heard feds is better than the county. And that's uh, that's global. That's across the world. But at the end of the day, we all got to think about the obvious question here, and it's how is they mentals holding up? Well, you got to do about 70 plus years. You know, some some people got to do 50 to 60. Some got to do about 60 to 70 years. And with the feds, the only way you can get those years back is if you give up bodies and give, give up different shit like that. And you still going to have to do some time. I've been seeing a lot of different stories and I was scared to report on them. I've been doing my research. Maybe y'all can help me out in the comment section, you know, because y'all my YouTube family. But I heard Los Mana allegedly... Snitched, you know, Lotus Mana and uh, Trey Five, if I'm not mistaken, they allegedly snitched and did shit like that. But I can't find any evidence of that. I do know the baby mama took the stand and, you know, had to speak against her baby daddy, which is unfortunate. But she was brought up with some shit that ain't had nothing to do with her. And she still got a kid to take care of at the end of the day. But facing that many years in jail, gang, like, that's some serious shit on your mental. Like, it's no end date. All you could do is hope you could fuck around and knock up one of the CEOs, you feel me? And that way you can keep your legacy going if you ain't got no family on the outside because I hate to bring up this story, but Jar City Dome, he was at the end of his sentence, of a 10-year sentence, bro, and he took his own life. People try there's different stories with that saying he didn't. Who knows? They said he didn't want to come home and be the same. Who knows? They said it was dirt on his name that he didn't want to be exposed. But if you take if you end your life for a 10-year sentence, imagine how this shit gonna be. In the next 50 years. And unfortunately, we got a front row seat to watch these people's lives unfold for better or for worse. Get in the comment section and let me know what y'all think below. I'm gone.